Hey, what's up guys? This isn't a video that I had planned on making, uh, but one of my discs in my main machine crashed that had all my virtual machines on it. So I'm reinstalling Linux Ubuntu and get, getting everything set up. So I figured I'd make a quick video showing you guys exactly what I install and what I use. All right, so uh, first thing we're gonna install is Google Chrome. And this is the only thing we're gonna install that isn't gonna be through the terminal. All right, so if we go to google.com slash Chrome, Click download now and we're going to grab the 64-bit dev package here. Alright, so we're going to say we want to open it with software install. And that's going to go ahead and download. Alright, so that should open. Okay, so now we're just going to click install. And it's going to ask for a password. All right, so that should be all set. Let's close that up. And now if we go up here, and wow, why is this so slow? We want to search for Chrome, and you can see it just pops right up. So I'm going to just grab this and bring it over to the sidebar here. And then we'll get rid of Firefox. We'll say unlock from launcher. Or first we gotta quit. All right, so now we have Chrome installed. We can open that up. And yes, I wanna make it my default browser, but I don't wanna send stuff to Google. Okay, so now that that's set up, let's, um, let's remove this stuff. I'm not gonna use the LibreOffice or anything like that. So I'm going to get rid of these, and let's see, I'll leave the software installer, get rid of Amazon, and I'll leave the settings. Uh, let's see, let's continue, I don't know why it does that. So now we're going to install a program called Terminator, which is um, an alternate terminal you can use. I'm going to just open up the default terminal to do that. So from here, let's do sudo, so we can run it as root, and then apt get update. Uh, whoops, what did I do? All right. All right, so once that's done, let's go ahead and do sudo apt get install the terminator. I'm going to say yes. All right, so that took about a minute or so, and I'm pausing it when that's running, so you know, don't be alarmed if, um, if yours is way slower. So we have Terminator installed, so I'm going to close this up, and let's go ahead and search for that right here, and I'm just going to bring that over and put it right there. I want, it, I want it above Chrome. Okay, so let's open up Terminator. And I'll make this a little bigger. And with Terminator, we can split horizontally, we can split vertical, so it's kind of nice. Um, and let's just close that up. So now, next thing I want to install is a text editor. The, the text editor that I'm using right now is Atom. Uh, so to install Atom, we need to actually grab the um, PPA, which is uh, personal package archive. So let's do sudo. And the reason that we're doing this is because it's not available in the main repositories. So sudo apt get, uh, I'm sorry, not apt get. We want to do uh, add, add apt repository. And it was going to say PPA colon, and then it's web, uh, web upd. 8 team slash Adam. Okay, uh, let's see. Now available 32 bit. Let's press enter. Okay, so now we're going to do another update. Make sure everything's recent. All 
right? So now that that's done, we should now be able to do sudo apt get install atom. Say yes. All right, guys, that took about two minutes or so. Now we should have Adam installed. If we go and search for it, and I'm just going to bring it over right here. Okay, so now we have a text editor. So the next thing we're going to install is Node.js. So let's go over here. And let's just say uh, install Node Ubuntu. So we'll we're going to go to, let's see, Debian and Ubuntu. And what we have to do before we actually run the install is we have to uh, retrieve the installation script from node source. So we're going to use curl to do that. So we'll grab that command there and paste that in. Uh, oh, and curl's not installed, so let's go ahead and do that. So sudo apt get install curl okay once that's done we'll go ahead and run that command again okay now we should be able to do sudo apt get install node.js All right, so now Node should be installed. Let's do Node.js v, and you see we have version 6.10.0, and let's also do npm v, make sure that's installed. All right, so next thing we're going to install is the LAMP stack, which is um, we want Apache and PHP and MySQL. All right, so let's first do Apache. So I'm going to say sudo apt get install Apache 2 say yes and that'll set up the Apache server alright so now if we go to our browser and we go to localhost you'll see that an Apache 2 page will uh, pop up and this gives us some information Next, we want to install PHP and also the Apache module for PHP. So let's do sudo apt get install. And we want PHP and so I'm going to do 7.0. And then we need to do lib apache2 mod php 7.0. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. And yes. All right, guys, so that's done. Now we want to install MySQL. So sudo apt get install MySQL dash server. So let's run that. Yes. Okay, so it's going to ask us for a password for our root user. And repeat. All right, so that took about a minute and a half. Now what I'm going to do is restart our Apache server. So we're going to do sudo slash etc slash init.d slash apache2 and then restart. And that'll restart the service for us. Okay. So if we want to test this out and see, make sure that PHP can get parsed and so on, we're going to cd into uh, slash var slash www slash html. Okay. And this is our, our web root. So let's create uh, a new file. We'll say touch index.php. Uh, permission denied. We need to do sudo. OK, 
Okay, and then let's do sudo nano index.php. And let's put in our PHP tags and just echo. And we'll say uh, hello. Okay, we'll go ahead and do control X and then yes to save. And then if we go back to our local host. Alright, and the reason this is still showing is because there's an index.html file in that directory. If we do ls, you'll see it. So let's delete that. We'll do sudo rm index.html. Alright, so now that that's gone, we reload and we get our hello. Okay, so now that we have the LAMP stack set up, we're going to move on and I'm going to install FileZilla, which is an FTP client, so that we can connect through FTP to uh, outside servers. So for that, sudo apt-get install filezilla. Say yes. Okay, so now let's go over here and search for filezilla and we're going to just bring that over. Alright, so let's clear this out. So the next thing we're going to install is GIMP, which is uh, a graphic design application that's pretty much like Photoshop, um, because we can't get Photoshop for Ubuntu. So we need to add the repository for that. So we're going to do sudo uh, add apt repository, and we want to do ppa colon uh, otto dash uh, Kessel Goulash, I guess, is that what it says? Goulash sh uh, slash GIMP. Alright, let's try to run that. And let's see, okay, enter. And now we should, let's do a sudo apt get update. And now we should be able to do sudo apt get install gimp. Okay, so let's go up here and search for our gimp. There it is, let's bring it over. And that's that. And just to make sure it works. There we go. So it's a it's a program that's similar to Photoshop, uh, a little more minimalistic. All right. So I'm not going to go over anything in that program. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it later. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as Dev Tools. Um, now what I'm going to do is just change the backdrop, and I have in pictures my wallpaper, and we're just going to do set as wallpaper, and then I also want to install. The, uh, the what is it, the unity tweak tool and that allows us to do some things that we can't do with the regular settings um, such as I like to change this color of the the launcher here and you can change the icon size things like that so let's do sudo apt get install and it is uh, the unity tweak tool Okay, so let's go over here and search for it. And you can see it gives us a whole mess of options. And let's click Launcher. And what I want to do is make this a, a, a reddish, a more red color because it kind of looks orange. So let's see. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, let's see, color based on wallpaper, custom. You see how it just turned black. And let's click on the red. Oh, that's that's too bright. Let's try this. Uh, that's a little better. Um, no, actually, you know what? Let's just make it black. Yeah, that's fine. I might change it later. 
Um, but this is pretty cool. You can customize a lot of stuff with this tool. All right, so I think that's it, guys. I think everything's all set. Um, the, the time up here, it's, it's not 4.19 a.m. <laughs> that's actually, I think that's Pacific time. It's actually 7.19. Um, so let's change that. And let's see, I'm going to change this to, I guess if I just do New York, that should work. All right, so now it's changed. All right, guys, so that's it. The machine is ready to go, ready to start making some more videos and tutorials. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.